Hello and welcome to Postcard the Pines. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. And today we're in Harry Potter's Forbidden Forest Experience. Come on. The organisation upon arrival was excellent. It was then a short walk past guest services, where you can hire a scooter, to the start of the trail. Even the walk up to the entrance had a magical feel. Someone's excited. There was magic in the air. Even the little wizards had come out to play. At the end of the path is Harry Potter's Patronus, the magnificent stag. There are a few stalls here and also some toilets, which Wills very kindly checked out for our review. They were spotlessly clean. Ooh, and a first aid station, should a spell go wrong. Merchandise is pricey. I quite fancied a light-up wand, but at 25 quid, that wasn't going to happen. We decided instead to leave the merch alone and check out the food and drink options. Do I spy wands? Ah, OK. A breadstick dipped in chocolate with some sprinkles is also a wand. So they're actually telling you it's OK to improvise. Message received loud and clear. Then we met this poor girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We think she is trying to place a magical smoke-filled bubble on a slushy, and she wasn't for giving up. He got a mind of his own. It? <laughs> it's horrible when the kids really want it and they don't work. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. And try she did, but her bubble kept bursting. I know how she feels. As a poor workman is said to blame his tools, our valiant slushy hero decided perhaps it was the drink that was to blame. Or maybe it was just so filled with oil now, no one could drink it. So she tried again. We felt really bad now, as we had absolutely no intention of buying it. But we think it was a matter of pride by this time. And then... Yay! <laughs> we saw it. Um, we saw, we it. saw it. Well done. We, we turned our back and... Look at that first time! Hmm, <laughs> now is it going to be sugar? Or wine? Sugar or wine? If you've watched this channel for long enough, I'm sure you know the answer. I'm gonna get a mulled wine. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Yes, it was pricey at £6.50, but it was the first of the season. If you like sugar, cake, donuts and more sugar, then every other stall here is for you. Now, how is that mulled wine? We've checked out all of the stalls and we've gone for a little mulled wine. Yeah. Smells delicious. What do you think of it, Wills? Let's have a taste. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't know if you can see, it's got a bit of orange in it. A bit of a ow, cinnamon stick in it. Oh, it smells like Christmas. It's not even Halloween yet. Well, at least it will be when you see this video, but it's good. Welcome to your first Harry Potter hat. £25 for a wand? I don't think so. There's a very nice looking stick on the floor down there and it's got my name on it. Yep, £25 well saved. Now let's see what we can do with this. Incendio! Bombardo! You see, you can't do any of this with a £25 wand. Oh, Ticket check, wand check. So it was time for the main event. Hello, welcome to Harry Potter Bill Forest Experience. Who is excited to enter the forest tonight? I can't hear you. That's more like it. Who can tell me what this is? A illuminator who said that? You said that was your house? What's your house? Are you slippery in Gryffindor? Hufflepuff, 50 points to Hufflepuff. Well done. Yes, it's a deluminator. And all it does is scratch out all the lights. Okay, let's start making your way towards the woods for me. Go and enjoy your Harry Potter experience. Cool. All right, we will. Let the adventure begin. You enter the forest through a magical tunnel of enchanted lanterns.
The forest feels secret and otherworldly. You feel like you've stepped through a portal from the Muggle world to a kingdom of magic. The use of smoke machines, a fantastic sound design and lighting really gives you a full immersive experience. Those bats were fully real and not magical mystical beasts. Although, if you've got your wand, you can make magic happen all around you. There is just the right amount of light to be able to see and the paths were pretty dry the night we were there. The path took us across a bridge and over a stream until we got to our first Harry Potter display. This is a carriage drawn by a Thestral, a black skeletal, bat-winged horse. Thestrals are invisible unless the beholder has witnessed death and gained an emotional understanding of what death means. We next came across Hagrid and his blast-ended scroots. This was a truly poignant display as we had only lost Robbie Coltrane a few days previously. Rest in peace, sir. You were a truly remarkable actor. This was certainly living up to our last year's forest experience. We did Delamere last year and thought, let's go and check out another one similar so we've come to Harry Potter. So far, so good. Let's see some more. It was too early to compare, but this experience certainly feels more immersive. This section of the forest was dedicated to Hedwig and owls of all colours could be seen amongst the trees. Hang on to your valuables, there are nifflers about. We next met Buckbeak, the Hippogriff. One must always bow to a Hippogriff as a mark of respect. I was lucky, he bowed right back. I was feeling it was time to flex my wand again. Oh, and bad news, you've missed an R out of that sign. Serve and sort. Give me a real wand and I could change the world. On we went through the magical forest until we discovered... Mr Weasley's car that Ron and Harry crashed into the Whomping Willow. Oops. It still lives on today wild in the woods of Cheshire. This was cool. You could duel with wands against your friends. We didn't have a go though. I mean, Wills knew he didn't stand a chance against the stick, did he? And in case that mulled wine has gone straight through, there are more toilets at this point. Also, more stalls. Now, butter beer. What is it? Will we like it? Let's find out. We're halfway round, there's toilets, there's drink stalls and we've stopped for a butter beer. Never tasted one before, we're going to do a live review. Embarrassing, we just kind of queue jumped an entire queue through sheer ignorance. Well, the postcard and a bite. Right, review, here we go. Looks like beer. Ooh, sniffs like sweets. See what you think, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it does smell like sweets. It smells like vapes. Right, I've got butterscotch soft drink apparently. <laughs> uh. £8.50 well spent! <laughs> if you tell yourself it's just really sweet butterscotch cream soda, it's palatable. You liar, it was grim, but can my wand save it? Beer! 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 Should have made 25 quid, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, if only I had a real wand. I'd be on my second pint of carling by now. Will still wouldn't buy me one, though. 
He said, why should he when there's all these free ones on the ground? He's just scared I'll do a reducio on his man bits. Now, this was probably my favourite bit. Whoa, what's that doing? Huh? It's the bit you find if you throw this animal. And I couldn't wait to find mine. I hope it's something dignified and majestic. Okay, I'm going to go in. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about me, love. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, one, two. Expecto Patrono! Oh, no, I didn't get any of that. Oh. I'm a bloody dog. You see, I shouldn't have borrowed a wand. My stick would have seen me, right? This was so well done, though, and incredibly magical. <laughs> After all that excitement, we continued along the forest path. Don't forget, there's always someone watching you. This part of the forest is incredible. The trees seem much bigger here, and we were quite overcome by the vastness of it all. Here you'll find fields of magical mushrooms. Note, I said magical, very different from magic mushrooms. By using your wand, you can cast a spell to make them change color. We were just transfixed by them. Absolutely beautiful. Tearing ourselves away from the magical mushrooms, we made our way through the forest towards an enchanted lake. Here you can cast a freezing spell over the lake. worth noting that they let you in in about groups of 20, so the forest never feels crowded. Sleeping in the forest is Grawp, Hagrid's half-brother. We trod lightly so as not to wake him. We were warned, once again, about Nifflers. And we finally got to see them, and all the golden jewels they had taken. They are pretty cute though, and I bet they could afford £25 for a wand. I'm not letting it go, am I? I found these lights in the trees particularly mesmerising. They were like fairies and sprites, playing in the forest. And this next display just took our breath away. There really are some magical beasts in this forest. And some not so magical ones. On to a more creepy and crawly part of the forest. There are spiders, everywhere. There are signs warning you to miss this bit out if you're a bit of an arachnophobe. We couldn't wait to watch the Aragog show. Apparently staff members are on hand to assist you if it all gets a bit much. Really? wait outside the screened off area, don't worry, it was a very short wait, and then it's into Aragog's lair. Hagrid, is that you? <laughs> a spider 
over on the head. Brilliant fun. This is now the last part of the trail. The website says you can get around in 45 minutes. We were now approaching two hours and still loving it. This has been such a magical experience. As we said at the beginning, we went to Delamere last year and that was fantastic. It was more in your face. It was a bit more cheesy. This has been really magical. The soundscape is absolutely amazing. And the continuity, it's so much more immersive, I think. And I've really enjoyed myself. But I've got a splinter off my wand. So don't make a wand out of a stick, kids. It just doesn't work. And also, you don't need to have little wizards, aka children, aka snot goblins, to have an amazing time. This is just as much for adults, especially younger heart ones who like sticks. Next, we met some pygmy puffs. I've always adored these. If I can't have a one wills, can I have one of these? This was a little mistletoe booth at the end where the attractive and sexy people pose for Instagram. Nah, you're alright. Then you're back at a lamp station before the big finale. Excellent, so we're going to use the magical spell of Nox to take away the light. So, has everybody got a wand? It gave me a splinter. Don't worry if you haven't got a wand. I'm sure you can use your magical fingers. Ooh, wow. So, let me see your wands and your magical fingers. And on three, we're going to call out the magical spell of Nox and take away the light from these lanterns. Okay, are we ready? Yes. One, two, three! No. Excellent, now that magical spell must have been on about half power because we've only taken half of the lanterns out. So this time, even louder, so Aragog can hear us all the way down there. Okay, are you ready? Okay, if I must. Are we ready? Nox, one, two, three! No. You're welcome. Excellent. And now we're all stuck in the dark. Idiot. I really hope somebody knows the magical spell to bring the light back to these lanterns. Does anybody know it? Luma! Who is that over there? It's the Gryffindor girl. The Gryffindor girl again. Was that Gryffindor? Yes. Another 50 points to Gryffindor. Excellent. So the magical spell to bring back the lights is luminous. So again, let me see those wands, all your magical, magical fingers. And on three, let's see if we can bring the lanterns back. Are you ready? One, two, three! Luminous! Oh no, we must have naughty Slytherins in the trees. Let's try it again, even louder. <sighs> if you want something One, doing. two, three! Luminous! Do it yourself. Excellent. The Slytherins have kept half of our lanterns this evening. But not to worry because I can send you on the way to your finale. Have a lovely evening, everybody. It was then a short walk around to a magical lake for the big finish. Now this was pretty cool. It was incredible. Musically, the end was a little flat, but a minor quibble. You can take us out of the theatre, but... Anyway, no trip anywhere at any time would be complete without... Christmas tree! No, Wills, an exit through the gift shop. All houses are catered for, and Christmas is well and truly on its way. And 
and no, we didn't buy a bauble for our already overdressed tree. And this is what you could have had. It is a thing of beauty, and I would like one, but I'm strangely protective of my stick now. There's a green screen photo opportunity on the way out. And then there's this, the village, inspired by Hogsmeade, and another place full of food and drink options, and Christmas trees. A warming hot chocolate for me to wash away that butterbeer taste. There's a really cool marshmallow stand here, and for six pounds, you can take your marshmallow stick and toast it on dragon's breath flames. And then return to cover it in sprinkles or chocolate or the topping of your choice. The meals they serve here are pretty full on, like a roast in a Yorkshire pudding or a pulled pork bap. There was nothing small like a hot dog, which is what we would have bought. But anyway, thanks for a truly wizard experience. We finished now and that was absolutely magical. It was expensive, it cost us £46 each. They do do family deals, but for us it was £46 each. But we were in there two and a half hours. We went in at eight, it's nearly half ten now when we've come up. I will say, butterbeer, the most disgusting thing I have ever tasted. Uh, the drinks and food are quite pricey in there. I reckon they make the butterbeer expensive to make you buy another drink, to have a drink to get the disgusting taste out of your mouth. Anyway, I think we should cut back for a bit of cheers to the good times. What are you doing? I'm toasting my marshmallows, aren't I? Six quid for a marshmallow stick? I don't think so. You can soak your wand in water for a day. Makes an excellent skewer. Marshmallows, 89p. Home bargains, bargain. And your dragon's breath flame heats your living room. It's win-win all round and you can't do that with a 25 quid wand, can you? Right, I'm going to swap this for... This way, that's hey. better. Right, so that was two weeks ago we went on this walk. It's bonfire night tonight. It you might is. be able to hear the banging outside. Yeah. Um, but um, what did you think of it? Oh, I thought it was absolutely magical. Mm. I loved it. Now, since we've been, ads pop up on my Facebook, and I do like to read all the comments. There are mixed reviews. Many people say amazing, fantastic. The biggest gripe that comes up though is the price. It is expensive. Yeah, it was 46 quid each, quid each, quid each. Quidditch, Quidditch. You are terrible. Um, there are deals to be done. Apparently, if you go on different nights, different time slots, there's family tickets to be had, but we don't know about all those different prices. That's what we paid. Saying website. that, though, they say on the website, 45 minutes to go round. So it's two hours. Two hours, yeah. We were filming, but we weren't going slow, slow. So for that money, you 46 get... 46 quid for two yeah, hours. You get right. a two-hour experience. Yeah. Now, I loved it. I've read all the books, so I know all the spells I've and that. I've not read the books. Nope. I've seen the films. I've seen, well, I've seen most of the films. And I think, for me, the most the, the most impressive thing was, technically, it was yeah, stunning. It was. Technically, it was really, really clever. We went to uh, we went to Delamere Forest yeah. last Christmas. Got the video out. Check, Check it out. out. I haven't seen yeah. it. And that, obviously, that was a more Christmas theme. This was more concept based on the film. And um, it, oh, this one was more immersive. There was there was um, continuous. It was more yeah. continuous. And there was a concept to it. It was, it was just really clever, really clever indeed. Yeah. And you uh, don't need to have kids to to enjoy it. We haven't got kids, obviously, but we kid, enjoyed it just as kid. much as anyone. Yeah, there were people, there were couples like us going round. I'll tell you what. They were even dressed up. Some they of them, were. people older than us, dressed up. At mm. least I only had my wand all the way around. Uh, so I would say. Definitely go. If, you've, if you're into Harry Potter, go. You will absolutely love it. If you're not into Harry Potter, you like Lights in a Christmas, maybe go to Delamere instead. You wouldn't go to a Harry Potter forest experience if you, no, if you didn't Harry like Potter, Harry Potter. So I absolutely loved it. One thing I will say, avoid the butterbeer. Oh yeah, oh, that was horrible. Man. This is disgusting. Sugar in a cup. Mm. Absolutely grim. Your teeth fell out by looking at it. Yeah, they yeah. certainly did. So we switched to this and we would like to say to you, if you've enjoyed this video, if you press the like button, it would be lovely if you could subscribe to yeah, it. Yeah, and drop us a comment below. Have Watch you another been, video. Have you been to the Harry Potter experience? If you have, tell us what you thought. We'd love to know as well if you enjoyed your experience. Mm. So let's all together, magically, for the last mm. time, say to you all... Cheers, cheers to the good times! To the good times. What you call two Quidditch players that share a dorm? I don't know. Broom mates! Oh.